Hello. We're going to go ahead and make that axle peg that is part of your train assembly that you're currently working on. Let's go ahead and start a new 2D sketch. And we're going to draw a line, start on that origin, go directly to the right, make sure it's nice and straight, and put in a value of 0.125. Next, we're going to come up at 90 degrees and make this point or 1.0. And I'm going to move down so we can see everything here. We're going to go ahead and come back over. I'm going to just draw a perfectly straight line. We'll add a dimension in just a couple of minutes. We're going to go up another 90 degrees, but with this one, we need to put a 0 0.031 dimension. And let's go ahead and end our lined command. And we're going to come up from this direction now. Start a new line, come down on your origin, go perfectly straight up. Just make sure you're taller than this point here. And then let's do a three point arc that starts on this line, ends on this line, and go ahead and just bring it over and we'll add a dimension. Perfect. Let's add those dimensions in here. I'm going to have my first dimension go from the left vertical line down to the right vertical line. Make sure you're not picking any midpoints or endpoints. Pick the line itself, please. 0.211. And then my radius on here, we're going to go ahead and put a diameter actually of 0.236. Now it's showing we have one dimension needed down here on the bottom right hand side. We're going to go ahead and add a coincident that goes the midpoint or the center point of this arc here to the line itself. So click on coincident, click on both of these, and we'll let it fall how it is. That's fully constrained now. We can see down here on this side. Let's go ahead and do a revolve. And it chooses our closed sketch for us. So we just need to choose that longer line here as our revolve point to go around. And it's 360 degrees. Perfect. The next thing we need to do is we need to cut the tip of this off so that we have a flat surface. So let's rotate this around and I'm going to do an offset plane and I'm going to select the flat that's at the bottom of our pin. There we go. Now it's going the wrong direction. So the direction it's showing is a positive direction. So that means we need to go in a negative direction. So we're going to put negative 0.125. And you can see here, that is the point, everything on this upper side is what I wanna actually like slice off of it. So the next thing that I want us to do is let's go ahead and start a sketch on here. So let's do start 2D sketch and it should be on that work plane. And then we're going to right click on this work plane and come down to slice graphics. And basically it should show us almost like a preview of what would happen if we sliced everything from this plane off. And once we do that, we can now come up to project geometry and go ahead and click on this surface. Let's see if we can get this going here. Okay, so it's not letting me choose this. So we're gonna go a different route, you guys. Go ahead and right click and say, okay and finish off that sketch so let's come back into the sketch and basically to cut this off we just need to have something bigger than this area here you can do a circle you can do a rectangle it all works just make sure it's bigger you rotate here you can see where that's at and let's come up to 3d model and do an extrude and then we actually want to cut it, so change to your cut. And you just want to make sure you're going the right direction. The distance really doesn't matter. You can do through all. You can do a specific distance. You just want to make sure that it's getting rid of all of it. And let's go ahead and hit OK. And you can see here that it's essentially cut off everything that was on the outside of that. Now, I don't like to see these planes. They kind of get in my way. So I'm going to right click on work plane one over here and get rid of my visibility. Perfect. 
the next thing we need to do is we need to actually add um, a cut in here for a tool to be able to screw this down. So I'm going to start a sketch on the surface. And let's go ahead and come up and do a polygon. Select the origin, bring it out. We are staying with six sides. I'm going to go a little crooked here so you can see some of the tools that we have to work with. So I want this top edge to be actually horizontal. So I'm going to click on horizontal. Now, do you see how we have that preview, those, the dotted line? Because we're rotated here, our horizontal is actually vertical and vertical is horizontal. You just kind of have to watch for that. So I'm going to do opposite and click on this line. There we go. I know it doesn't make much sense, but it's because we're rotated that it's backwards. Let's go ahead and do a dimension from here to here, and it's 0.156. Perfect. And then we're going to go ahead and cut this down. So go into your extrude. It shows it for you because it's your closed sketch. Change it to a cut, and this distance should be 0.111. So here you can see just enough for that tool to go down to actually do the screwing motion for this. There are two more commands we need to do here. The first is we need to add a chamfer down here at the bottom. So within your 3D model tab, go to chamfer. And the chamfer is going to be 0 0.03. And then click on this bottom edge. That allows a smooth transition when this pin goes into the hole. Go ahead and hit OK. The last thing we need to do is we need to thread this. So go ahead and come on up here to thread. And we need to click the surface. And we do have an offset. And we do want to make sure that we're a quarter inch 20. It designates this depending on the diameter of your post, in a sense. So since our diameter was 0.25 or our radius was 0.125, that's how it knows. We also have our depth here. So we need to change it for an offset. And that offset's going to be 0.25. And you can see how it's bringing it down. That means that the threads aren't going all the way up to the head. They're coming down here. Go ahead and hit OK. And there we are. That is your axle peg.